Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Amazon Music Tasks quickly via AIO Stream 3.0. First, select Amazon and add a category. Amazon requires an email verification code cause the software logs into the Amazon account for the first time. Please fill in the correct info for the Popeye map to make sure the software can auto-verify the email address. Then, import your accounts from a TXT or CSV file. You can add your proxies and bind them to your accounts. We have several proxies partners that are listing on our official website, and also you can search more from Google. You can set some limits to your accounts if needed. Amazon provides different services in different areas. Please make sure the host of your account is correct. For example, the host of Amazon should be like this. After that, click Start to verify accounts. Next, you need to add some data sources. There are two types of data sources. Add an account source first. Type in the number of accounts you want to check, and don't forget to save it. Then, add a text source which can include song album links. After that, you can start to create tasks. Select Amazon and click the New button. There are two task templates. You can see the task introduction below. I'll create a playlist task. You can rename the task here. Then, select the account source and the text source. If you don't know what the option means, the description on the right would be helpful. Text order can set the order in which the text data source retrieves. The task can run twice or more by changing this value. You can set how many times the task runs per time. After that, you can choose play mode here if you have set an account limit before. There are two order types for you to select. Shuffle means the bot will play the song's playlist randomly. If you choose the next option, the software will play it according to the order. Play song count means how many songs it will play in the task. Runtime means the playtime of each song. You can change the value you want. We recommend you to set the playtime above 60 seconds, such as the 60s to 120s or longer. So the music platform can count it as a stream. You can turn on the pause option if you want to pause during playing songs. Usually, we recommend you to set it as off as default. Only play means the software will do nothing except click the play action once. Stop running means the browser will close after the time you set it. Whole play means the software will play the entire playlist. Lastly, don't forget to save. Regarding the play track function, it's similar to playlist almost. If you selected the search song option, you should set the data source to keywords. If you didn't do it, then you should add track links here. Then, click the global option. You can set up the thread here. Thread means how many debug windows it will open in the meantime. Next, click Start to run the task.
You should click clear to clear the cache if you want to run the same task again. Alright, that should be all. Thanks for watching.